You know when you get this package in your mail and judging by the size of it, you already know what's gonna be in there. Well, I knew I was expecting a three inch, but this, this could never be a three inch. I mean, look at it. It's so small. I even got small hands. I mean, no way. Turns out I was wrong. This is the Darwin FPV Baby Ape. We're gonna be talking about it today. Is this really the budget FPV drone you should be flying right now, knowing it comes without a receiver? So that's an extra cost there. I'm gonna show you what you get in the box. We're going to take a look at the drone itself. And we're going out into the field and fly it on 2S, on 3S, 300 milliampere and 650. Uh, even though it isn't meant for that, we're just gonna try to see how it goes. I also put an Insta360 GO 2 on it. You'll see how it did in a bit. And to round it up, I'll tell you what I think of it and what I broke or what didn't break. So let's see what you get in the box. You get some cards saying, thank you for supporting Darwin FPV. Well, Darwin FPV, thank you for making this drone. A bag of props, which is already empty because I've already been flying mine. These are the Gemfan Hurricane 3016 three bladed props. We got a goodie bag. Let's see what's in there. Nuts and screws, some zip ties, a sheet of stickers. We get a battery strap, which is actually more like a cable tie so this will not hold on to your battery so we're not going to be using that one because you get a lot of rubber bands and these do hold on to your battery so i recommend using these and they also weigh a whole lot less than this big battery strap and of course we get the drone itself and we'll take a look at it right now this is a three inch with a carbon frame its arms are replaceable just by removing two screws you can actually take out an arm and replace it with a new one if you got one broken. But keep in mind, there are nuts on the other side of the frame and these are not pressed into the carbon. So if you would uh, change out the arms, you would have to find a way to keep the nuts in place that are under the FC there. So that's not going to be a very easy arm swap, but it is possible and arms, a set of four will only set you back about eight euros on Banggood, very cheap. I think they're $12 on Darwin FPV. I don't know why they cost more on Darwin, but hey. Um, so yeah, overall, very good design. And I really like the design of this thing. I know it's subjective, but it's a true X, which I really like. Um, because it gives you the same response on all axes, well, depending on your rates, of course. But it also reminds me of my 5 inch, and it just it just looks like a miniature 5 inch. It's, it's really awesome. The carbon frame has 1.5 millimeter plates overall, top plate, bottom plate, camera protection, uh, except for the arms, which are 2.5 millimeters. It's got not branded motors, these are just generic motors. They are 1104-4300 kV. So let's take a look and see what's under the hood. You just gotta remove four screws so the top plate comes off. The VTX is connected to the top plate, so be careful when taking that off. I already unplugged it. Let's get that out of the way. The VTX is rated up to 200 milliwatts. That's okay, it's not bad. The all-in-one board has a F411 processor. The gyro is an MPU6000. The ESCs are rated up to 15 amps constant and a peak current of 17 amps. They run BL Heli as firmware. The FC will accept two to three S batteries. And as you can see, let's take a closer look at the at the soldering. This is pretty good soldering if you ask me. The pads for the receiver, which is not included. I soldered a RXSR to the all-in-one board. The pads for the receiver are actually already tinted if you use an S-Bus receiver. If you want to use a Crossfire style receiver like an ELRS or a TBS Crossfire, you will have to tint the pads yourself. And these are located right here. TX1 and RX1 are located here. If you wanna swap out the camera, which I already did, I swapped the uh, original camera that comes with this drone, which is a 700 TV line camera, which was not that good. It's flyable, but I would recommend going with the Baby Ape Pro, which has the Cadex and installed already. If you wanna swap out the camera, those pads are actually underneath the wires of the VTX. So that's a little bit 
more tricky to solder if you're not experienced with soldering already I recommend going with the Baby A Pro and also for the price point for only 10 euros more you get a Pro you can't get a Calyx Ant for 10 euros so yeah go with that one just save yourself some trouble and go with that one one more thing i want to say about this only one board is actually the battery lead is very long it's easy to plug in and out your battery but it's not secure to anything so i actually secured it to the uh, antenna holder at the back here because when you crash and your battery ejects it could tuck on the wire and it could actually rip the pads of your all-in-one board so be careful with that secured into something also something i wanted to mention about the frame i forgot to tell you earlier the frame posts are actually plastic so don't go crazy when you tighten up your screws but i do recommend you tightening your screws when you get this out of the box because practically all of them were loose so uh yeah check your screws darwin fpv also added a nice feature here we've got leds on each of the arms which are programmable in beta flight now these led strips also act as race wires so you haven't got any uh, wires running across your arms so they cannot get chopped which is a nice feature to have especially on a drone that only costs 80 euros the props these are the gem fan hurricane 30 16 3 bladed props and you only get one set of these i didn't want to break them but even after days of flying this thing hard and fast and crashing so many times i haven't broken a prop yet i got one bent prop uh, i just bend it back till it flies good so yeah gem fan really great props this drone is also very light for a three inch with the props on and a cadex and comes in at 73 grams and with a Vita FEV 300 milliampere hour 3S battery, it comes in at about 99 grams. So yeah, that's very light for a very small package. So I think this thing is going to be quite fun. Let's go and check out the flight footage. Okay, this was my very first time flying the Darwin FPV Baby Ape. As you can see, there's a lot of junk happening in the middle of the screen. I was trying to configure my OSD in the field with my smartphone but i could not place the osd elements where i wanted to so they bunched up together in the middle and yeah just ignore that i started flying with three s 300 milliamp power batteries immediately it took me by surprise because this drone really is fast it's fast it's agile and it's got enough punch to get you out of power loops to catch you when you're diving you will have to adjust to the lack of weight it has but once you're used to it and you power all the way through your power loops it's actually pretty nice it's also a very quiet drone especially if you're just cruising you can definitely fly this in your backyard without disturbing your neighbors too much or in a park it still is a very fast drone on 3s so yeah, take notice of that if there's a lot of people around, be careful with it. So I came home and immediately replaced the camera after the first day of flying because it's really the one thing holding this drone back. Now, putting in a Cadex Ant isn't really straightforward because the original camera in the Baby Ape is 16 millimeters wide and a Cadex Ant or a Nano Cam will be 14 millimeters wide. So you've got to have something to fill in the space i've used a rubber standoff for a tiny wood board cut out the middle part and i used what i had left as spacer while taking it out i had the opportunity of weighing the original camera which came in at 2.9 grams and a cadex and only weighs 2.3 grams so if you save a little bit of weight there and you get much better image quality so go for the pro version at least or if you got one lying around swap it out yourself this was the next day as you can see this is the cadex and camera which in my opinion is a whole lot better than the camera you get on the stock baby ape this is also my first flight with two s batteries it still has enough speed if you just cruise around you do get a lot less power in punches and when coming out of dives so if you're a beginner and you really want to take it easy just cruise around for a bit are not trying to do freestyle right from the get-go going to s is a good option for you although i would actually advise not to buy two s batteries just buy three s batteries 
put a throttle limit on your drone you can even put it on one of the knobs on your radio so you can really dial it into the power you want once you're ready for it just put it on full power and rip i'm doing a split s here it's still it's still fast but you'll definitely notice a difference going from 3s to 2s and here's one of my crashes. This flight was with some older 2S batteries. These are 300 milliampere hours and they lasted about two minutes, two minutes 15, which isn't really that much, but I also tried to do some, some punch outs and stuff like that. So if you want more flight time, yeah, you can always go with a bigger battery. If you look at the bottom left corner of the screen you can see the throttle position so you can actually see how much throttle i have to give it to uh cruise or to catch myself when coming out of dives or power loops or stuff like that let's relocate once more for the last bit of flight footage i'm just gonna let you be so you can judge for yourself how good this thing flies Every day I still remember when I was really free and all the things I lived and the miss all the things that I left I regret for this it won't be the same yeah I never felt this way cause I want to come back and find my way and I have to run and run away I finally choose yeah Cause it feels like I'm wide awake and I'm standing in time No one disappearing, looking for light That's in the time for you Yeah, I'm wide awake for real I'm wide awake for real And we are back at the bench and yes my 3D printer is still printing. I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. So is this budget drone the one to buy? Well, yeah. Considering current prices, this is a very cheap and fun drone. And because it flies on smaller 2S and 3S batteries, the cost of batteries is also less than when buying a 4S drone. And it's still plenty fast and very powerful. Oh, and did I mention I even put an Insta360 GO 2 on it? With the jankiest camera mount ever, but it flew. It still got a little over 2 minutes with a 3S300 Ma LiPo. Too bad I forgot to charge the camera, so I only got 20 seconds of footage. I really trashed this drone from day one and it did surprisingly well. The frame is still fully intact, arms are not delaminating um, and I think it's because of the low weight. The impact is never very big. Unless you fly it straight into a brick wall or concrete pavement, you will be fine. And replacing arms, although not very easy, is very cheap. And yes, for those that were wondering what broke, well, I've bent one of the motor shafts on day one, probably from crashing into a metal pole, but I didn't even notice it until I was at home at the bench. And it's, I still flew it many more times after that with the bench shaft without any issues, no desyncs whatsoever. So yeah, maybe I was just unlucky, but it happened. And I guess with these 1.5 millimeter shafts, you're likely to bend a motor shaft after some time. So yeah. And of course, this wouldn't be square one if I wouldn't tell you I already have a few mods in mind. If you're interested in seeing a modded Darwin FPV baby ape, well, leave a comment down below saying you want to see that. And if I get enough reaction to it, I will definitely make a modding video on the Darwin FPV baby ape. So overall, this drone is really tons of fun to fly. 
It has surprising durability and if you're looking to get into FPV or even if you are an experienced pilot who doesn't want to spend bucket loads of money on the latest 5 inch, you should definitely consider giving this drone a try. You won't be sorry. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.